George, and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. We are contending for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Praise God. Are you ready for your daily bread? Come on now. Come on. Release your faith right now. Release your substance. What's our substance? Jesus said, he said it. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. He said it, and we believe it. I believe it. So, because I believe him. Now, I was telling you yesterday about strong faith and, and weak faith. Your faith is weak when you don't have an encounter with him. It is faith. It is substance. Make no mistakes about it. It is substance, but then it's weak. It's weak. Why is it weak? Because the relationship that produced that substance is weak. So you can only have strong faith when you begin to harvest from your relationship with Him. Hear me? When, when, we, when we fellowship with Him, something happens. We are not fellowshipping with a book. No, 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 no. This book wrote about someone. And the person the book wrote about, the book states that that person is alive and is still alive today. If that is true, then you get to that point where you close the book and begin to fellowship with the person the book talks about. You know, there are believers who can go beyond the Bible. Every, everything about them ends here. I'm telling you the truth. Watch their lives. They end up in confusion. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. They end up in confusion. Why? Because they keep saying, but the Bible said this, the Bible said this, the Bible said this, the Bible said this. Okay, what has the Lord said to you? Uh, uh, you know, people just feel, uh, I mean, please, Let's not talk about God speaking. Let us talk about what the Bible has said. You say, why? You know, when, when people start saying God spoke to me, they can bring confusion into it. But funny enough, the whole thing in the Bible, we are reading what God said to people. Now, if you believe, it's you know, amazing. If you believe it was God that spoke to Abraham, if you believe it was God that spoke to Isaac, Jacob, Moses, and these were men that lived on earth. What was special about them? Nothing. Nothing. The Bible said they were men of like passion, as we are. So, if, if I believe that, the Bible said, and the word of the Lord came unto Abraham, saying, Abraham, yes, sir. And Abraham answered the Lord, and, and hey, what about, and the word of the Lord came unto, who now? Obina. What about, and the word of the Lord came unto Musa, you know, Yakubu. What about, and the word of the Lord came unto Adewale, Adewale you know, Amusu, you know. Hmm. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know. I just, I just trust the one that is in the Bible. You see yourself, your faith is weak. That's your problem. You've got weak faith. Weak faith. The strength of your faith. Let me tell you this. It's like you, you, you want to gain entrance into a firm, for example. And then you have different relationships of, with people in that firm. And one person is close to the admin officer. Now, one other person is close to the chief security officer. Now, one person is close to the 
boss himself. Now, who do you think will give you, whose word among these three people do you think you will take home and sleep when they promise you the job? The one who's close to the boss, the owner of the organization. Because you know that if, now when, when he tells you, look, don't worry, you'll get the job. You want to know, have you spoken to your uncle about me? That's what you want. Now, what are you looking for? What did he say? He said, don't worry. He said, he said, you will get the job. Now, you sure he said that? Yes, he said that. Now, that means I'll get it. Now, all you now want to do is, can you kindly remind him? Because I went to the admin head and then the admin head said that uh, no communication. Can you please remind him? He said, okay, I'll remind him. Now, th that person will go remind him on the strength of his word that he said to him before. So that is what is strong faith. Every other person, like, well, let us see. You know, let's, let's hope that weak faith, weak substance. Are you getting what I'm saying? So now this is how we qualify, and, 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 and this is it. So when we talk about faith in God, what is the strength of your substance today? You want healing in your body. What is the strength of your substance? You want favor in the job you do. You want favor in whatever you're involved with. What is the strength of your substance? What is the strength of your evidence? If, and, and, and this is the practicality of it, because we're not just here teaching you theories. And, and, and this is how it comes. Now look at this. Hebrews 11. Look at verse 2. It says, For by it, by what? By faith. By what? By substance. By the substance of things hoped for. By, for by it, the elders obtained a good report. How did the elders obtain a good report? Because they had substance. They had substance. Everyone we read about in this book was an elder that obtained a good report. So we read about Abraham. Hey, Abraham had good reports. Why? Because he had substance. What was Abraham's substance? Abraham didn't have a Bible to read like you have today. See, now, now, so what was this? You know, I always say this to people like, how come we have this Bible, which is a compendium? You know, I call the Bible a compendium of testimonies of people who received the word of God, what they did with the word of God and how they ended with it. It's a compendium. So, now, we have this whole compendium of all these testimonies, yet we still struggle with our faith. You, you've read the Bible cover to cover, yet you still struggle with your faith. Why do you still struggle with your faith? Because your evidence is weak. You read about people Yet you don't go to do what the people you read about did. You read about Abraham. God spoke to Abraham. Abraham heard God. And then you look at yourself. Have you heard God? Yeah, I read my Bible today. And I believe God spoke to me through my Bible. Come on! And you think that is strong enough? <laughs> oh, Raka Shabbat that was never God. God never. God never instructed us to live by what is written in this book. No, he never did. I'm not putting down this book. No, sir. Listen, the Bible is the truest book you can ever find. But, but the problem is this. You read it. And don't understand it. You think it's by reading it and confessing what you read that you will get an answer. It's not a magic book. No, it's not a magic The Bible is not a magic book. Oh, I, I put it under my pillow for protection. It's not a magic book. It is a guide, a testimonial. It contains testimonies 
But what do you do with those testimonies when you believe them? When I read that God spoke to Abraham, God spoke to Isaac, God spoke to Jacob. Huh? Okay, Lord, how come you're speaking to these people and you're not speaking to me? Yes, that's my response. That's what I should do. If I believe this book, how come? How come? When last did you hear the voice of God? When last did you hear the word of the Lord come to you? When last can you say, hey, God told me this. Okay, you're praying for a car. What has God said to you concerning the car? Eh, but, but the Bible says, we should ask whatever we desire of him. No, it's weak. Eh, faith is not by, mm, Father, mm. You know, it's not emotional. It is substance. Substance. We carry that substance in our hearts. Now, the substance is strong when we hear it from him. So, I go before him because you can get substance. You can, you can approach God for substance. Now, you pray, you know, sometimes he will just see, you, your father, this sickness got to leave my body. I, I don't know why I shouldn't be sick. I shouldn't be sick. Why am I sick? No, Lord, no, Lord. Your word, you know, you, you begin to talk to the Lord like that. Isaiah said, by his stripes I'm healed. By his stripes I'm healed. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the sickness got to leave my body. I refuse to be sick. I refuse it, Holy Spirit. I need your help right now. Why is the sickness still in my body? Why am I still weak? And then you're praying like that and praying like that. And, and suddenly you hear it from the Spirit of God. And he says, didn't I tell you by his stripes you were healed? Now, when that word comes to you, now why would you pray? Because you believe. Now, because you believe, you're calling out that which you believe. And then you will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit say to you, didn't I say? Now, now I'm just giving an example. I'm not saying that's exactly what he's going to say to you. But I'm giving an example. Now, he just said, didn't I say by his stripes you were healed? I'm like, whoa. That, 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 came, that, just, that just came into my spirit. That just came. And you will know. See, when you pay attention to the voice of God, you will know when God is speaking. The reason you don't know when he's speaking is because you're not paying attention to him. You, you are putting your mind here. And when that word comes, like, whoa, whoa. And you see, it hits your spirit. And I'm telling you, it's like, oh, come on. And it brings light to you. Like, what, what am I doing here? What has happened to you? Substance have been given to you to deal with that sickness. And like, huh, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? You get up from that bed. It's the moment his word comes to you, the moment his word, don't, don't spend another second. Oh, Lord, you know, just like the man by the pool of Bethesda, do you want to be well? Oh, Lord, you know, when the angel comes to stir the water, I wish I have somebody, you know, to push me into the water because there's nobody. There's someone else who goes, Jesus said, get up, carry your bed, go home. That was the word of God that came to that man. And when he received it, he got up, carried his bed, and he was healed completely, praise God. Now it's the same thing. You, you're there, you know, you know that's why Father... Heal me. Oh God, heal me. Oh God, heal me. You know, you keep saying that. Oh God, okay, you know what? I'm going to worship him for one hour. Father, I worship you. I worship you. Oh Lord, I worship you. I worship No, no, no. You want to get healed in your body? It's time to sit down and begin to ask yourself, hey, where is my evidence? Where is my substance, Carlos? Is my substance strong? Now, this is, this is what we do as believers. We stand together. When we stand together in faith, what are we doing? We stand together adding our substance together. See? So I come before a brother and say, listen, Jesus said by his stripes, you were healed. I believe it. You know, and everyone, oh, oh, 
Oh, yes, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I say, we're going to pray now. Give me your hands. In the name of Jesus. Now, what are we doing? We are increasing our faith. We are increasing our substance. We are making that substance strong. And in the place of prayer, a word of prophecy comes and says, Thus saith the Lord, rise up. And the person believes and gets out of that sick bed. Now that's what we do with one another. Jesus told us, you shall lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. When you believe that. Now you're, you're, you're standing before a sick person and say, Lord, what, what do you want me to do? You said, if I lay hands on the sick, the sick will recover. And I believe you, Jesus. I'm going out to lay hands on the sick person. Substance. Because our time is up. Father, you are making this word true and strong in our hearts. And we walk in active faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.